going on everyone? Matt Saletti here again and in the third tutorial for Animoog we are going to discuss a couple more secrets that I have as well as how to use inside of the DAW. The thing I like about iOS apps and Animoog in particular is it gets me out of the mode of creating music with the mouse you know like I'm making a spreadsheet and actually performing the parts in making sure they're rehearsed to get them right just like recording to tape or hard disk recorder so Check out how we use it in DAW to kind of beef up the signal and make everything sound right nice. Excellent, everyone. So what have we done thus far? Well, in tutorial one, we stripped Animoog all the way down to its basic components so we could build it up from scratch. In lesson two, we actually did that. We built it up. We looked at some of the different mod sources and, and crazy things you can do inside of Animoog. And now in this one, I want to show you some, uh, some crazier sounds and also just a way that I recommend to basically use it inside of a DAW or inside of any other recording program. I use it oftentimes inside of Live, inside of Machine, and set it up so it's always ready to go real quick. So what I've done here is I've created a patch and I've done a couple little sophisticated things. One of my favorite parts is we made a nice little path for the orbit and what I've done is gone in and created this really cool effect like this. So one of my favorite things to do in the envelope section is you have a control where you can actually control the path origin by the X or Y position. And that way it's going to give you this nice stretch. So you can see normally if we don't have that on, we would just basically be following the path, boring as can be. But when we stretch it like that, you get all these cool transforming type sounds and everything. It's, it's very cool. So. What else have I done? I've gone in and instead of even um, selecting a preset mode or scale, I've gone in and just selected specific keys that I know I'm going to be working in. So I started this song in Machine just to get an idea down and I have a couple parts. Very cool, and so what I've done is I know I'm only working in these key ranges, so I want to do something in Animoog and actually create uh, kind of like an intro or something like this. But one of the cool things about using Animoog inside of a DAW is that you have a lot of flexibility to do more sound design on top. So Animoog really only comes with, you know, you have a filter and a delay, you know, you can do some bit crushing and, and some a little bit of drive, but that's really it. And so, you know, it doesn't have a reverb. A lot of iOS apps actually don't have a nice reverb because... I mean, it's really CPU intensive, I guess, to actually get really high quality reverb. So this is where we bring it into, you know, something like the DAW and work with it from there. So I might actually go in and we're in, we have our input set up so we can record with it. And so let's go find a reverb and I'm just going to use some presets so we can get this nice and quick. So we have a nice big cathedral style reverb. Let's go ahead and uh, give it a low cut. That sounds good. So we can do several things here, you know. Again, maybe add a chorus to it. What else? You know, I'm going to get nuts and do some physical modeling. We'll use Corpus. Now, as you can see, we start adding things in and we get issues, um, which can easily be fixed pretty much with a compressor. So one of the things you'll notice is I'm not using any, again, MIDI interface, audio interface. I'm coming straight out the headphone jack. And one thing you're going to always want to do is kind of you know, put some kind of maximizer or compressor on this to get it up to level with your other virtual instruments and stuff, just because without using a dedicated audio interface, you're not really going to get 
a great output here. So use something like a compressor, you know, and use it to boost the output maybe. And there we go. Now, one of the greatest things I like about limiting myself, and that's what I'm gonna call it, is like, when I use the iPad, I don't use it for serious, serious, you know, production. I'm doing everything on the iPad, forget that. I have a computer, it's more powerful, but I love the way the iPad gets me thinking differently, specifically the Animo app. So I know I can create really cool intros and stuff like this. So I'll create this nice big kind of chain, and what we'll do is actually kind of we're going to select all these guys. And then with a right click, we can group this. So now I have one nice section here. I can add macro controls, whatever. And importantly, I can always go ahead and save this as Animog input or something like that. So whenever I come back and I want to use this again, it's already ready to go. I don't have to think about it. And again, so now working with an iOS app, you know, it brings me back to the day where I used to record tape <laughs> or uh, record to a hard disk recorder where you didn't have the option to go in and, you know, dial in minute little MIDI notes on a piano roll. You, you played it in and you rehearsed it till you got it right and made it work. So this is one thing I always recommend. And the reason I love using these, these iOS apps is because it, it, it makes you kind of perform and stick to it. So you're working with audio and you're, you're stuck with it. So we can create a nice little intro here. So there you go, that could be my intro, and then we could come right out and bust into the main section. Now nothing's stopping us here either from recording new parts. Now another thing I wanna show you is, once we have our path set up in Animog, you can actually move this around in the XY pad however you want. So just the simple sound of it here is gonna be completely different when I move it over here for instance. or here or here so not only do you create one little preset but I mean you have your way with it you can move it all over it's more of a lead now so maybe we'll uh, we'll do something here Simply get in, just do a quick two bar. If you don't like it, delete it. If you like it, keep it, whatever you want. But again, we printed the audio, it's good to go. We don't have to worry about it. Now, this is just, again, however you want, save these setups. I often also use it to machine. So if we look at using inside a machine, what I suggest is coming to a blank group and you can create an input on a channel. Once you have your input, set it to your external input source, whatever you have Animo plugged into. And then from there, I mean, you can get nuts. You can add reverbs, um, you know, we can do the same exact thing we did. Reverb, chorus, maybe add a delay. And then what you do is you simply right click here and save this as an input. Basically, you're gonna save it as a new sound. So something I've already done, my custom Animo input, every single time I bring it in, it's ready to go, it's routed correctly, it's got a compressor on it, and I can just resample directly inside machine with whatever I had going. So very powerful tool, however you wanna use it. Again, explore different ways, don't forget to use the XY pad. You know, just cause you write a path doesn't mean you can't move that path around too. It'll give you plenty of different results, but overall, fantastic, fantastic app. I hope by this point you've been convinced and went over and bought it already, so. Cheers. Have fun writing. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, 
or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.